Yeah. Joint bail cut today by the Lions slash Rasheem Mathis announcement to his retirement. Now, Rasheem Mathis, I'm going to start with him first. Rasheem Mathis, he played for the Jaguars and the Lions. So, he had a solid career for a cornerback. You know what I'm saying? I always thought he was underrated when he was in his prime. I always thought he was underrated, probably one of the most underrated corners in the NFL. When he was with the Jacksonville Jaguars, I used to be like, like, I'm talking about when he was in his prime, like in 2005, 2006, 2007, when he was in his prime. I used to say, I'm like, I wish the Lions could get this guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we did, we did eventually get him, but we didn't get him in the prime years of his career. We didn't get him when he was young. You know what I'm saying? We got him when he was an older veteran, you know? We we should have got I wanted to get him like a while back when he was with the Jaguars. Like, yeah, right, like I said, his prime year, 2005, 2006, 2007. I always thought he was underrated. I always liked him when he was with the Jaguars. I'm like, I wish he can come to the Lions. Like, for real, like he can help out our defense, you know. Even though he wasn't the savvy veteran as he is now, but he was in his prime. He was a pretty good corner. Obviously, one of the most underrated corners I ever seen play. Um, I hope for the best for him, for um, Rasheem Mathis, because I think old as he was, he still was productive, especially last year when we went eleven and five. He he was pretty good. That I mean, a couple seasons ago, he was pretty good. Um, he helped Darius Slay out. Without Mathis, I don't think Darius Slay will be as good as he is. Honestly, because he he made Darius Slay play out of his play out of his comfort zone. He made him play better than what he was. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, he he made him he helped him improve. On, as a player, as a corner. That's what I like about Rasheem Mathis. He helped Darius Slay become the corner that he is today. And I don't think Darius Slay is fully done. Um, I don't think he fully tapped into his full potential. I still think that Darius Slay is going to get better. He's not done yet. <laughs> Darius Slay, he's still, he's still developing. He's still going to get better. This, this is just his last. He's just been in the league for, what, three seasons now? I mean, come on now. He helps him. He helped develop Darius Slay, even though he's not a coach. But he he showed him some things and stuff like that. Same goes for Quandre Diggs. He he tried to show him a couple things. You know, he was working with the young defensive backs on our team. Um, yeah, I I like Rasheem Mathis though. Even though at times he when he was playing, he did get burnt. But I think that was because of his physical abilities. Because he not he wasn't as good as he like once was physically, because he a little older. That's why he was getting burnt a little more. But when he was with Jacksonville, it's a pretty good damn corner, in my opinion. I hope for the best of his retirement. He had a solid career. See, he not like Calvin Johnson talking about I'm about to retire. Now I know. Rasheed Mathis played a long time. <laughs> he played 13 seasons. That's that's a long time in the NFL. A lot of players don't make it to 13 seasons. And for him to make it to 13 seasons, that's an accomplishment. That's pretty good. Because a lot of players don't even make it that long. Seriously. He had a long career. So it, it's not like he retiring when he's still in his prime and, and kind of young. He he on a lateral stage of his career. That's the See, that's the thing with him. He, see, he retiring now. He, he's a little older now. I, I can understand that. You know? Now, Calvin, I don't understand right now, even though he kind of on a decline, but I still don't understand. He's still not old. Calvin is not old. He's only 30 years old. I don't – but he played nine seasons. He did play a pretty decent amount of time. But Mathis, he played – he actually played a long time. So, congratulations, Mathis, for your career, man. And that's all I got to say about that. Now, Drake Bell, he been cut by the Lions, man. <laughs> Bob Quinn not playing, man. You can see it. He's not playing. 
He not playing around. I, I knew when he first came to Detroit. You could see it in his face that he's not playing around with these players. He's not playing. He want to build his team into a, a championship contender. He's not joking around. And if you and you got a heavy salary cap, I mean a good salary, like a high, if you're getting paid a lot of money and you having no little to no production, then he's gonna get rid of you. That's how that's how it's working. If you have very to little like production for the numbers he's making, like Brandon Pettigrew. Brandon Pettigrew, he he just a blocking tight end. That's all he does. He's no receiving threat. I mean, he he's not even a great blocker. He's a he's a decent blocker, not a great blocker for a tight end. He's a decent blocker, and he's getting he one of the highest paid tight ends in the NFL. I don't get it. That's why I would not be surprised if Bob Quinn releases Brandon Pettigrew, and that's being one hundred with you. I would not be surprised with that. Now, Joy Bell, he got released by Detroit, by the Lions. I seen this coming from a mile away. I really did. I seen this coming before the season ended. Like, they going to end up releasing him. When a new general manager come in, they going to end up releasing Joy Bell. That's how I see it. I seen it a long time ago because his production, his production haven't been that good this year. He has 311 yards for 90 carries. That's horrible. That's not good, okay? He must be averaging maybe two yards per carry. He, that's not good numbers, if you ask me. <laughs> 311 yards for 90 carries. That That's not that's not productive. That's not going to get the job done. If you want to win, that ain't going to get the job done. Straight up. Um, I, seen, I seen this release coming. I mean... I respect Joy Bell for what he done for the community and how he represent Detroit. Even though he said on Twitter, like he he thanked the Lions for um for the years of being on this team, and he he still say Detroit forever. You know, I can I can feel that man because he's a lion at heart. You know, he's a lion at heart. He don't want to play for nobody else. Even though he might will this season, but I don't think he want to. I don't think he wants to, but he probably will. And um, I mean, it sucks to see people out of like see players out of work. But if you want to win, it's not about keeping who who the. It's not about keeping the local guys, keeping guys that's in Michigan. It's not about that. It's not about keeping oh this guy that guy because the fan like him or whatever. It's about Winning and losing. It's about winning. And that's what Bob Quinn is about right now. So for him to release Drake Bell, I'm not surprised. Um this year he just Drake Bell, he he lost a step or something. Well he bet he was battling with injuries all year long. He was battling with injuries. And I remember when he I think it was a tweet or something, or he said in I don't know, it was an interview or something like that. He said that after the season was over, he said he felt the best that he ever felt in a long time. And I don't know, was he saying that just for him not to get released or something? I don't know what it is, but he said that. So, But in my opinion, even though I like Drake Bell as a person, I like him as like him representing Detroit, like the way he, he's his heart into it. But as a player... I'm gonna be honest with you, man. He haven't been productive, man. He haven't been that good to me, honestly. I've been I've been bashing him all season. Like it's like when he runs the ball, it's like he got cement blocks on his feet. Like he <laughs> he runs very slow and very clunky. You know what I'm saying? It, it takes him it takes him ten years to get the five yards. Just because I don't know if he injured or what. It, it just looked bad, man. Seeing him carrying the ball like that and then not being productive. Now, in the second half of the season, he started to look a little bit better. But, Joy Bell, man, it was time to go, man. I, now, nah, I, don't, I don't know what the Lions is going to do since they released him. I guess they don't just install Zenner in the lineup. I think that's what they their plan are. Their plans are. Um, or 
They might draft the running back out of the draft. Who knows? Um, Derrick Henry out of Alabama or something. I don't know. That's that may be the plan. I don't know. But I mean, if they're trying to get a power back, you know what I'm saying. So, and that's what the Lions need. They need a power physical back, somebody that could just truck the whole defense. <sighs> Joy Bell, man. I mean, I used to. He's a fan favorite in Detroit, man, but he got to go, man. It's time to go. It's time to go. Bob Quinn is not playing. He wants to win. He already said it. He said when, the first day he got here, he said that he's going to build his team into a winner. And he's not. I don't think he's not playing around. You see what he did to the front office. You see some coaches he hired and let go. Not Caldwell, though, but other coaches that's underneath him, assistants and stuff. And in the front office, you see what he did. He he cleaned house. He was not playing around. Shoot, hell, he might got rid of the janitor. All we know that ain't even hit the news yet. Next thing you know, tomorrow's gonna say Detroit Lions release the custodian that cleans four field or some crap like that. <laughs> Who knows? Like Bob Quinn is not playing. He really isn't. <laughs> so, um. I don't know what I don't know what the Lions' plans is, man. Is they gonna get a running back out of the draft? Even though I don't really think we need one out of the draft. There's no running backs in this draft that really impress me, except Ezekiel Elliott, that from Ohio State. That's it. Literally, that's it. That's the only running back out of this draft that's worth drafting early. Everybody else, psh, you could get in the second, third round. All I care. But I mean, if if he make it to 16, I do not see the Lions passing up on Ezekiel Elliott. I really don't. If they if he makes it to 16, they will they will draft him with no hesitation. But I don't think he'll make it that far. But this is not about the Lions driving the running back. This is about Bob Quinn and building the winner. And that's what he got. He got to do what he had to do. Now, some other players, I think that should definitely get cut. Uh, well, not get cut or out of get cut or get their contract restructured. I think Tully, I don't think he should get cut exactly. But I think he should get a, a restructure to his contract. Now, if he don't want to restructure his contract, then release him. But other than that, it is up in the air. Now, Brandon Pettigrew, I will release him. He's garbage. He's trash, okay? I don't care what nobody say. Pettigrew is garbage. They can get a tight end out of the fifth round or something like that. I don't care. Fourth, fifth round. It doesn't matter. We need a tight end. We need another tight end because Pettigrew is not going to get the job done. Number one, he's a subpar blocker. He's a he's an okay blocker. Number two, he's always getting injured. Number three, he can't catch the ball, and when he does catch the ball, he fumbles the ball. And number four, he he's overpaid. Why pay this much money for for a subpar tight end? You know what I'm saying? I know Ebron supposed to be the next big tight end or whatever, but honestly, I don't think he's going to be either. So it, I wouldn't be mad if the Lions dropped the tight end like in the fourth or fifth round. I won't be mad at him because that's what we need. Or or draft a tight end as a, comp, a compensatory pick. I wouldn't mind. But, yeah, man. I see what Bob Quinn doing. He's not playing around. So the other Lions players, they better be looking out because Bob Quinn is not playing around. He's not playing. I don't know if he's gonna sign Holloy Nada back. I don't know. I don't think he. I don't think he will. If he doesn't, he should go for defensive tackle in the draft. I don't know. But yeah, man, that's all I got to say about this team, man. Can Super Bowl Fifty One be ours <laughs> or Super Bowl Fifty Two? I'm sniffing 52. Actually, I want to win Super Bowl 51. I want to see the Lions make it to the NFC Championship game this year. Seriously. <laughs> but that's another topic for another day. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below about uh, Rashawn Rash Rash Mathis' retirement and Joy Bell's release. All right. Peace.